Uh, and welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for Friday, the 7th of July 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw a major move lower after some hot jobs data. That ADP report was about double what the market was expecting. But we saw a major indices pay much of their early losses. But of course, we've got the non-farm payrolls tonight, which is another massive number. Another strong number in that. That really gives the Fed a very strong green light to continue to raise interest rates quite aggressively. US earnings season also starts next week. And we're wondering whether this might start to play into market minds, certainly at the early part of next week. US futures are flat in the Asian session. Asian markets are down significantly following that weaker US leader. ASX is down around 1.4% off its low. But there is still a broad-based sell-off. No sector is in positive territory. European futures are pointing to a higher open simply because European markets closed before that late rally in US stocks. And the VIX rose to touch the highest level in the month. The US dollar index surprisingly failed to move higher, giving up its early gains. It's neutral in Asia so far. FX markets pretty flat at this stage. Gold has edged lower below 1920 and copper was also lower yesterday. Oil is the exception in the commodity space. It is near neutral and trading towards the top of the range on all oil contracts. Bitcoin looks a bit precarious at around about 30,000. It's been trading in between 30 and 31,000 where that resistance level lies for most of the last week. But it looks as though there could be some pressure to the downside. Be interesting to watch that if there is further sell off in equities. Outside of the non farm payrolls, which is the obvious headline today, we've got German industrial production and Canadian jobs also due today. A couple of charts that caught our eye. We're quite liking the look of the Aussie Swissy here. We can see on the 30 minute chart, uh, we've moved up really in this morning's trading to complete this reversal and look as though we are going to give. 159.44 a little bit of a nudge uh, if we do breach this is potentially a move up around about 30 pips perhaps up to this sort of 159.75 level in the first instance uh, because this is a fairly low volatility pair you can put your stop quite close to this uh, and that 30 pips is obviously uh, fairly significant subsequently you notice it is starting to move into uptrend it crosses of the shorter term moving averages there important although we are now hitting the low volume period of the day on stocks it was hard to find one that really caught our eye on very slim pickings but you can see info media here it has moved across this key level here at 161 and a half in terms of the potential upside on this we could see this up as high as 174 in the medium term that's a possible rise of around about six percent to the upside but it'd be worth checking out where this closes at the end of the day we have just moved into the top third of the candle at this stage on high volume trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now